Hi, this is Miss Andrea, and I'm here at Eco Station at Children's Museum of Houston. And I'm doing a project today for the uh, City of Houston, Houston Arts Alliance, and it is balancing art, balancing toy art. So there's a very simple uh, materials that you need if you want to make a balancing toy like mine. All you need is something like a cork, um, some bamboo skewers, and a little bit of paint if you're interested in decorating yours. I painted mine like little cork people. Um, if you don't have those materials, you can also use a popsicle stick, pipe cleaners, and a weight at the bottom like um, clothes pins, or you can also use uh, binder clips, uh, anything that has some weight to it. You can even put some play on the bottom. So basically what you have is you are using some science to make this toy this art, this balancing art, and that is the center of gravity. So where is center of gravity? Center of gravity is basically the point where you can balance something. So like with a pencil, uh, I can balance it more or less here in the middle, uh, but with a hammer it's a little bit harder, right? There's a lot more weight over here, so I would have to find the point where I can balance the hammer on my finger. So it's not in the middle, right? It's dependent on the weight. And so we are going to use that knowledge of balance in order to make this. Now, if I had um, a donut, where would be the center of balance in a donut? So imagine I have a donut and I want to balance it. If I try to put it on my finger, it'll just roll off, right? It'll just keep rolling off. If I put my finger on the inside and hold it, it will, it will be balanced. The center of gravity in a donut is actually in the middle. So it's not even actually on the donut, it's outside of the donut. This is the concept that we're using here when we make a balance toy. You have a weight on the top and then you have weights down here. So your center of gravity for this toy is actually somewhere around here. It's almost like a little triangle there. Now this is pretty balanced because everything is about the same weight. If you try to do this um, and make something heavier on one side, you could actually balance it on the other side if you're using smaller if you add another thing to it. So there's a really famous artist called Alexander Calder and all his sculptures were uh, what you call kinetic sculptures. They moved, they moved just like, kind of like this one does. As the wind hits it, it makes it turn around and around. And the reason it's able to stay perched up there is because the center of gravity is down here. And so all of the um, gravity pulling down on this weight it's pulling down in these areas and it all centers right here. Center of gravity in people is different too. For women, it's near their hips and for men, it's a little bit higher. So to get to the fun part, uh, when I made this little um, balancing toy, all I used was bamboo skewers and the uh, corks. I could even balance it on the edge of a pencil. Let me see if I can do it. Woo, yes. So it's got a nice little um, center of gravity going on right there. Now, if you don't have the corks, like I said, you can use one of these. All I did was wrap around a pipe cleaner and then I added some weight at the bottom and I'm able to balance it. And if it doesn't balance right away, just keep adjusting it. Now, what happens if I move this back a little bit? I can actually I can actually make it balance on my fingertip. See, the weight needs to be a little bit forward. So you can actually make art out of this too. I could see making some wings and you could make a bird or a butterfly that will balance on your fingertip. So you could, you have all kinds of things that you can do. Um, I've seen where people have made these cowboy boots and made a cowboy, or you could do an acrobat. You could do a fisherman on his head holding onto fish. It's all kinds of stuff you could do. So. If you don't have corks available to you, it's okay. Um, you, I've even used before taking old sandals apart and cutting them and then using those pieces uh, for my weights. You can make all kinds of cool stuff. And again, it doesn't have to be symmetrical like this. It could be, if you look at Calder's work, he had some things that went really big on this side, but he balanced them with a lot of small things on this side. It really has to do with the weight and where the weight is distributed. So I would play around with this. This is a lot of fun. And you also learn a little bit of science with it because you understand about center of gravity. I want to show you one last thing because I think it's really cool. 
I decided I was gonna try and see if I could make a guy that is on a tightrope. So, I decided to put a string. I used a fishing wire and I put a little straw. I cut the little straw and uh, made an indentation in there. So my little circus guy, he's gonna do a tightrope. And all I did was take a fishing string and woo, and he slid right down. So you can do it across the room. The important part is that your starting point is high up and goes lower so that he can slide along with gravity. And the last thing I'm gonna show you with this is that you can maybe put even multiple ones. So I have my little um, balance toy there. And I made another one that I didn't put the bottom for. And the bottom is just made by cutting this part down here of the skewer that's pointed and finding the center of the cork and putting it in. You wanna put these down lower to the bottom. You don't want them up high because that will throw off your center of gravity. Let's see if we can put two. Yep. <laughs> it's a little wobbly. I'd have to find a little bit more, um, center it a little bit more, but you could probably make multiple ones and you could have them, I didn't glue mine because I wanted to take the arms off. You can have them balance on top of each other. See how many that you can put together like that. You just don't want the arms to be in the same direction. So I hope you learned a little bit about center of gravity today and how you could use it to make cool art. Look up the Alexander Calder. I think you'll be surprised. And now that you know how it works, you can make anything. You can make all kinds of cool sculptures. This is Miss Andrea signing out.